Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? To choose your subtitles, go to the upper right hand corner to the setting button and switch on the captions and choose your language. Hi everyone, today we are going to make fried chicken sticks. This is a really, really yummy and delicious starter and it's very easy to make. So let's get on with the ingredients. I have taken half a kg of boneless chicken which I have cut into medium sized cubes. The chicken has been washed and cut. In the bowl I have mixed 1 tablespoon of tomato ketchup with 1 teaspoon of soya sauce and 1 teaspoon of chili sauce. You can either use red or green. 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and in the masalas I have taken 1 tablespoon of tandoori masala, just a quarter teaspoon of amchur, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, and half a teaspoon of garam masala. If you don't have amchur, just squeeze or take one tablespoon of lemon juice. I have also soaked some sticks in water so that they will not burn when we are frying the chicken. We will also require some oil for frying and for coating we require maida and two eggs. First, let us Put the masalas into the chicken. We'll add the ginger garlic paste, the sauces and all the powdered masalas. Now mix everything really really well and then we have to keep the chicken to marinate for at least one hour, minimum one hour but you can also keep it overnight in the fridge because the more it marinates the better the taste will be but I'll be marinating it just for an hour. So mix the masalas and everything really, really well. See that each and every part of the chicken has been coated well. Once you have put all the masalas, then we will now cover the bowl and keep it aside. I'll be keeping it aside for just an hour because I have to show you all the recipe soon. But overnight also is good. Cover the chicken and let it be for an hour. An hour is now up and we will now start putting the chicken on the wooden sticks. But before that, we will break the eggs. I will be using two eggs. And we will also add some salt to the egg. Just a little salt, just a pinch of salt. And then a little water, a tablespoon or so. And then whisk the eggs really well till they are nice and frothy. Just see that they are mixed well. Once you have mixed the eggs well, we will now put the chicken on the wooden sticks. That is the skewers. So I am going to put around three pieces of chicken on each skewer. Very gently put them and you can even put it like a double stitch like how I am putting it so that they remain nicely on the skewer. Do this for all the chicken and once you have finished putting the chicken on the wooden sticks then we will coat them with some maida. When you are coating with maida just flatten the chicken with your hands so that it's easier to cook it in the pan. Just flatten it nicely with your hands. Then shake off the excess maida and now dip it in the egg which we had beaten nicely. See that each and every part of the chicken is coated well with the egg and then gently put it in the oil. I've kept the oil on a very low flame because the chicken has to cook well. Now we'll do this with all the pieces of chicken. We will pat them down in the maida, make them flat nicely, shake off the excess maida, dip the chicken sticks 
in egg. Each and every part has to be coated well. And then fry the chicken on a very low flame. Please keep the flame low so that the chicken gets a chance to cook well and the crust also remains nice and golden. Because if the flame is high, the chicken will get burnt from outside and it won't cook inside. So I hope you all have enjoyed watching this recipe. Do like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon. And as always, the subscription is totally free. Please share this lovely recipe with your friends and family because they are going to enjoy it too. Believe me, it's really, really yummy. And it tastes so nice. These sticks can also be frozen, but you have to freeze them after you have coated them with maida. Then place them in a box with butter paper and store them in layers. Please do not apply the egg on it. Just store it with the maida. And when you are ready to fry them, just take them out in advance, at least half an hour in advance. Then dip them in egg and fry them. I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.